It's that time again, folks. We're busting out the PS4 because Valve has released a new game. Well, released is a strong word. I don't even really know what the right word is. The game is Deadlock. It's a multiplayer game in early development. I guess they're technically not wrong. Deadlock has been playable by select individuals for a while now. If you haven't been following this, this was a closed beta of sorts, and it was all sort of secrety hush-hush, and then one day they were just like, yeah, go ahead and talk about it. And that is exactly what I was waiting for, because I really wanted to play this game on the PS4, but I really did not want to piss off Valve. I like Valve, if you couldn't tell, and I want them to like me. If you've been hanging out in my studio for a while now, you'll know that this is not the first time we've had the PS4 on camera. Back in the Stone Age, I tested the PS4 with a bunch of different stuff, emulators, other random games, and then I busted it out again recently to play Counter-Strike 2, which went like this. Oh no. Oh, we're actually in game now. This guy looks like he could use a few more pixels. Oh buddy, six FPS. He's just going. I'm not- I'm not pressing W. He's just going. It has frozen the entire PS4. But we are in game. We are playing. At 5 FPS. Uh, oh, I got a kill! I got a kill at 4 FPS! But what will today be like? I'm hoping fairly decent, and here's why. For once in my life, I've actually prepped things. This is supposed to just open. It opened earlier! Oh! That was weird. But the PS4 normally has a spinning hard drive. That's not right. Which is not an SSD and not very fast. So I've taken the liberty of installing this. It's a 512 gigabyte Micron SATA SSD. That's all you really gotta know. And typically when you're doing this whole Linux thing on here, you plug an external SSD into the PS4 and then you boot off of that. Not anymore. That system sucked and it was extremely slow. We're putting Linux on the internal hard drive this time. Is that gonna help with game performance? Maybe? It just kinda depends on how the game is built. But either way, a faster drive isn't gonna hurt, so... And we also have a better way to jailbreak this time, too. You always have to reactivate the jailbreak every time you turn the console off and then on again. And in my last PS4 videos, I'd have to go to some website, plug in some flash drive, click some weird link, the console runs out of RAM, and then it jailbreaks. In theory. More than half the time, it did not work. And then if Linux crashes, you have to go and do all that again, and that process just sucks. So we're not doing that. We're doing this. This is a Raspberry Pi 4B. It is running a PPPone jailbreak server. No navigating to no stupid website, no plugging in no stupid flash drive, just raw, unadulterated gaming. Also, I did try running it off of the prison laptop, Wow, what are the odds a cop car goes by right as I say prison laptop? But uh, there was a whole bunch of issues, and the Pi version of this jailbreak is really just a lot better. Sorry buddy, but your jailbreaking services are uh, not required today. Oh yeah, also I got beat up by a cat. This cat right here. He's great, he's a stray neighborhood cat, he comes around and eats our food, and generally he's fine. But don't you dare touch his tail or his butt, or you'll end up like me. But he's a good cat otherwise. We love mustache. So we should see a couple of notifications in the top left. Oh, there's the first one. Hello. Oh, look at that. You can already see it change to gold hand. What the heck? It did it on the first try? Holy crap. Oh, Tony. Oh, okay. See you later. All right. Well, if that wasn't the greatest demo of all time. Well, I was gonna say that the cool part about using the Raspberry Pi is that it'll just keep retrying over and over and over if it doesn't get it on the first try. But we got it on the first try. Things are looking up in a video for once. So this blue ethernet cable is just the regular old internet. And then this yellow cable is going from the LAN port on the Pi directly to the PS4. So when the PS4 first boots up, it's gonna send the exploit from the Pi all the way across the cable to the PS4. And then once the exploit is triggered, it's just going to kinda bridge the gap between these two cables. So we have internet like normal. If you want to set this up for your own PS4, you need to be on system version 11 or lower, and you're going to want to take yourself over to the Modded Warfare YouTube channel. That dude is a legend. Actually, speaking of him, we're going to take ourselves over to his YouTube channel, because I have not done the installing Linux to the internal hard drive part of this yet. 
I just thought it'd be special if, you know, you and me did it. Us. Together. All right, our distro, our kernel, and our RAM disk, or whatever the heck this one is, are all copied to the internal SSD of the PS4. Linux VRAM payloads, please? Looks like it's keyboard time. Exec, install, Linux, hdd.sh, and, oh, enter the amount of storage to dedicate to your Linux install. Uh, 300. And now all you have to do is wait for this to install. It can take about 10 minutes, maybe a bit longer. All right, give me 10 minutes, maybe a bit longer. Welcome home, everybody. Kind of more of a crack house, to be honest. Oh, oh, it fixed itself. Okay. Things were about to get really interesting there for a second. Do we have to play Deadlock? Can't we just play, like, Among Us? Oh, we actually cannot play Among Us. I mean, we could with the Proton and the... Yeah, you already know. All right, Deadlock, going in. Actually, no, I'm gonna redo that. All right, Deadlock, Deadlocking in. Notice my playtime of 5.3 hours. This is wrong. The point three is mine. The five was not me. So we'll see how this goes. Definitely gonna deadlock in some wins. My skills are gonna be deadlocked on. Gonna get kills so stinky, I'm gonna have to get deadlocked up. Oh, we did have to get Proton? I thought this game was Linux native. Runs on this computer via Steam Play. Oh. Oh, it, it actually is just launching. Are, are we that lucky? There's no way. Well, that's not deadlock. You're right, you stupid idiot. It's the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Factor makes it so that I can spend more time doing the things that I love, like going outside to game. No more thinking about what you need to make and what to buy to make the things that you need to make. Just browse from a selection of chef-crafted, never-frozen meals that fit any lifestyle and are ready to heat and eat in just two minutes. Then you choose how many you want and then... Oh, wait, that's it. It's that simple. Factor is flexible, and they make it so that if I suddenly find myself with an excess of dinner plans, I can skip my next order and then get back on track next week. But seriously though, Factor is a win-win for everybody, because I've started ordering Factor for myself, and with all the time that I'm saving, they can't keep getting away with it! I think I can finally get around to making that smart toaster video you guys have all been asking for. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BRINGUSSTUDIOS50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code BRINGUSSTUDIOS50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. And it did not launch. You know what I really love? I really love how I have to go into big picture mode every single time I want to change a launch option on this distro. And it does that. Why do I do this? Why do I continue to make videos with this PlayStation 4? Okay, I did put Mango HUD in there so that we can get the FPS overlay. However, we're just gonna nix that for now. We're also gonna go window. Maybe window mode will help. Look at this, dude. I'm just happy Valve doesn't release games all that often, so I don't have to do this all the time. Attempt number two. Oh! Was that it? Was that- was Mango Hut screwing it up? Man, this is giving me CS2 flashbacks right now. Wow, is it gonna do it? Just like that? Our, uh, SSD upgrade does not appear to have contributed very much. Uh, the mouse? has stopped. Wonderful. We're back. This time with Fedora. Hopefully we will not break the any percent record for ruining a PS4 Linux install again. You've played for seven hours. Very little of that is playing, I assure you. Oh, and you know that issue that I was having before where you go to any drop-down menu and then you click and it would click the thing behind it? Yeah, I fixed that. Turns out all you had to do was go to Steam, Settings, 
Interface. Scroll all the way down and it's this very last one right here. Turn that on and all the drop down menus work perfectly fine now. No more big picture mode going <laughs> Also, we are back in one gigabyte of VRAM mode. I figure we're gonna need all the RAM we can get. I'm also gonna force it to use Vulkan, because even though we have to run Proton for this game, at least with Vulkan, then we can just have like a native graphics API instead of using DXVK. Maybe that'll take a little bit of load off of the CPU? I'm just guessing though, the PS4 with Linux is a very mysterious device. I just wish it could communicate its issues to me a little better. That's all I'm asking for. We got another launch, that's a good sign. The RAM usage is slowly creeping up. Please do not hit that 6.7 gigabyte limit. <gasps> That's the- Oh man! Come on, please. Don't freeze now. Please. You're only at 4.7 gigabytes of RAM. Come on! You're not out? Are you frozen? <laughs> yep. It's frozen. Man, I don't know if I mentioned this. But every time we gotta reboot, it's like a 20 minute penalty. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's another crash, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, maybe 720p is too ambitious. 640 by 360. That might not sound good to you, but you know what that sounds like to me? The game actually launching and not crashing. Oh my goodness. It's so small. What what does that say? Deadlock <laughs> offline? I'm not even gonna try and read that. You know, I keep seeing the Steam overlay popping up. I should probably turn that off for performance. Uh that may have been a mistake. And that's it. That another successful launch, folks. Okay, I have a theory. So I know we didn't quite get to our 6.7 gigabyte limit of RAM last time, but what I'm thinking here is that we're not even gonna see it get close by the time it crashes. For all I know, it allocated pretty dang close to 6.7 gigabytes of RAM, but it just crashed before we could even see that. And then I also noticed this down here, this SWP, this stands for swap. On Who's Linux, uh, excuse me? On Linux, your swap is kind of like virtual memory, sort of like a page file on Windows. So when your actual RAM is full, it has a place to spill over into. And we currently have none of that. So we'll do that to make the file. And now that we have a swap file, we can tell the computer to actually use it as a swap file. Now we can turn it on. And boom, look at that. 16 more gigabytes of RAM, sorta, kinda. You might even reckon that we just uh, downloaded more RAM. And now this bit right here is actually very important. So there's this value called vm.swap. This is how we can tell the computer how aggressively to use the swap space that we just made. And by setting it to 100, we're telling it to use that at all costs. So we'll send that one. And now let's hope I didn't teach you guys all that stuff for no reason. Come on. The game window hasn't even opened yet and you can already see that we're starting to use our swap file. Okay, that's a good sign. Obviously having RAM on our SSD is not going to be as fast as real RAM, but uh, I'm sorry, do you see any dim slots in here? Yes. Oh man, it's really filling up. Oh, we've passed the one gig barrier. Our physical memory usage is lower. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can do it. <gasps> That's it. We're in game. Well, so we're in the menu. Oh my goodness, I can't read anything. Look at that, even with our swap, it's still over five gigs. Our swap is at like 1.8-ish. Oh, this is actually falling. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we are in. We're, we've launched Deadlock. Wow, that was it, huh? Like the old adage goes, always download more RAM. Video settings. The graphics are already set to be fastest. We're gonna open this up and dump the render quality. Oh God. We're at 360p and we're going to render at 40% of that. At least I think that says 40. Hold on, do they got a calculator on here? Calculator? Okay, sure. Why not? 
Okay, if that's the case, we'd be rendering at 144p. So just go ahead and uh, go down to the YouTube player settings there and set it to 144p, and you won't be missing anything. All right, let's do this. Ain't no way I'm getting into a game, at least not yet. I think we'll try sandbox mode first. That sounds like the least demanding. Then a private bot match. Well, actually, if we do a private bot match, then the PS4 is on the hook for calculating the bots. If we do a public bot match, then one of Valve's servers is doing all the bot stuff. But then we have to deal with, like, networking shenanigans. And I don't think this thing's gonna have the best ping. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Let's just go to sandbox mode. We're gonna play as Dynamo, because he looks kinda cool. Uh... Well, he didn't look like anything at all for a second there. Confirm. Okay. Moment of truth! I'm 90% sure this is just gonna... ...lead to a... ...crash? <gasps> Where's our guy? There he is! Oh, it's barely hanging on, but we're here! Dude, we're getting horizontal lines across the whole screen. How is that possible? The game is bugging out the rest of the monitor. Holy crap. We are in game, in deadlock, at 144p. I'm scared to even move the mouse. Look at that, there's a little guy over there on the left doing something. Wow. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm savoring this moment. I didn't even think we'd get to this point. Look at that, so our memory is at 4.33 gigs, and then our swap is at 2.36. Combined, that's around 6.7 gigabytes exactly. So yeah, there's no way this could have run without setting up that swap file. That really was the solution. Oh boy. Hold on, we need an FPS counter. 14. Steadily increasing. Well, I guess it's about time we start, uh, taking a look around. Wow, these guys are not looking great. Look at this dude. This is like playing Deadlock on a redstone computer in Minecraft. You know, it's not unplayable. <laughs> Amazing timing. Oh, 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 sorry. My bad. Okay, you'll have to forgive me. Like I said earlier, I've played about 20 minutes of this game. Ooh. He's finished. Is he falling in slow motion? Does he just do that? What if we found like a corner to hide in? Oh, oops. I think I briefly saw 24 FPS. Not bad, not bad. This reminds me of those clams from Spongebob that sing. Oh, here's this guy. Suspicious Half-Life looking character. Oh, he's pissed. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Whoa! Hold on, that was fun. I want to do that again. Whee! Deadlock is my favorite platformer. Okay, so it's functional, but can we push it a little harder? What if we rendered natively at 360p? I know that's a lot to ask, native 360p rendering. Looks like we've sacrificed like four FPS, and when our average is 12, that's actually significant. Wow, this is significantly better looking. It's actually really not running too bad. Well, okay, it's running bad. But from 144p to 360p, it wasn't like that big of a performance hit. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna make a deal with the devil. 720p. At least I think that's what that says. Apply. Oh, baby. Aren't these like my abilities down here? I'm gonna hit number one. <laughs> what? Did I crash it? just took that long? Oh man. Looks like we've lost another like three FPS. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that. Kind of amazing that you can change the resolution in the middle of a game in a Valve game and you don't have to just wait for the game to crash and die and then relaunch. That's a big deal for Valve. Whoa, whoa, where's he going? I'm like sliding around. Whoa, what's he doing? No, what's happening? Is this normal? Who's, who's got me? What's going on? Something has latched on to me. What? I'm not, I'm not touching the controls. Oh, and it's gone. What was that all about? 
I still can't move. Okay. Um, I, I think we have completely destabilized this game. I don't think he's supposed to be doing that. Okay, 720p might have been a big ask. Let's take it back down. Okay, 50% of 720p. That should be fine. Uh, nope. He's still bugged beyond belief. Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave the sandbox. Bye bye I would like to now try a public bot match. Enter Q. Oh, we already got a match? Whoa, that was quick. I guess there are like over a hundred thousand people playing this game right now or something crazy like that. Oh. Hmm. Channeling our inner Windows XP, I see. We are well over seven gigs of usage now. I'm glad I balled out and set our swap file to 16 gigs. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up using all of it. Oh. Game is paused. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... You know... Uh... I'm not sure about this whole public match thing. This may have been a mistake. I think we're getting about five seconds per frame. I'm so sorry, teammates. You shouldn't have to deal with this. Can I actually... Can I actually do anything? I mean... Sorta. Yeah, it's... Yeah? <laughs> it's working! At somewhere between 0 and 9 FPS. Wow. That actually works. In no world is this playable, but... Genuinely amazed. Look at this, the FPS isn't even too bad over here in the spawn. Okay, well either way, I probably should not hold up these people's game. I don't think I can be contributing all that much. Okay, so the performance is pretty bad, but I wonder if we could do better. What if we had better hardware? Yeah, no thanks though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Professional PlayStation. Not gonna lie, I am shocked I was able to find this. And all it cost me was two hours of my life and $200. I didn't really look up what these are worth, but I mean it was on the right firmware, so I guess to me it's priceless. Eeyah! Hold on, we got some extra goodies. Oh! Yeah, so it's a God of War Special Edition one. I've played God of War games for probably a total of 10 minutes throughout my entire life, which is kinda also the same for Destiny, so I guess that's just the theme of my PlayStation 4s. This is nice, though. I like me a silver controller. And we got a USB cable, HDMI cable, power cable. Oh, it's that very cursed one. That... Ugh. See, look, only two prongs. We do not ground this PlayStation. Speaking of which, here it is. When I was looking at this in the pictures, I thought that this was like a PlayStation Move controller, and they just like set it on top of the console. But nope, it's just some skin that probably has some kind of significance to God of War people. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. It's not in A plus shape. In fact, it's a missing shape. But it's not about what's on the outside that counts. It's about the inside. Aww. Which is very shortly about to get ravaged by Linux. Yeah! SSD upgrade complete. System software version 11.00 installed. Gotta install a Linux distro and then this guy is good to game. The PS4 Pro used to have issues in PS4 Linux. For whatever reason, even though the hardware is more powerful, there was just some kind of issue and it didn't perform as good as the regular PS4. I have been told that that is now fixed. Now, if you could excuse me, I have some Linux suffering to do. Wait, no way. No way, it actually... It's running. It's running on the PS4 Pro. And not much better. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how many times I've tried to get this game to run on here. This has got to be attempt, like, at least in the 50s. 
If it crashes here, that's it. I'm, I'm not trying to get this working again. I've wasted too much of my life on this. Okay, graphics are set to awful. We're just gonna dump the render quality for the best luck. Everything off. Max FPS 60, as if we're even gonna be above 30. 720p display resolution, but we're rendering it at 40% of that. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Can we get an FPS counter? We can. Okay, I don't know how comparable this performance is gonna be to the regular PS4, because this is on the map 1v1 test. I'll try and go back and match the settings exactly so we can do a comparison here. But at least on the Pro here, it's around above 30 FPS, I guess. This has to be the only footage of Deadlock running on a PS4 Pro in existence. No one will ever be able to recreate this based on the sheer force of will required to do so. And yes, that is a challenge. All right, I'm gonna hit one. How long do you think it'll take this time? And go. Oh, I think that was faster. You may notice that we don't have much in the way of uh, audio right now. I have no idea why that is, and I am not risking closing this or changing any more settings. Amazing. Just amazing. Alright, now that we've captured a decent amount of gameplay here, can we take it up a bit? Okay, this is true 720p, and our frames have gone the way of the buffalo. I don't think I can recommend this. What is that? Is that a football? It's a stone, Luigi! Part of me is glad that I can't really get into a real match. Then you guys would have to see me actually try to play this game. I'm not good at a lot of games in life, but I'm also not good at this one. Okay, what if... What if... What if... No way. Don't crash. Don't crash. Oh my goodness. Native 1080p. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal as in AMD Phenom. Phenomenal. 4 FPS. Yeah, that's being generous. You don't even sh you don't even see the bolts coming out of the gun. You just see him shoot and then something is on the ground. Okay, I'm going to take the render quality back all the way down. Should I try FSR? I don't think so. I imagine just stretching the window is probably the best performance. Let's go to 540p, my favorite resolution, and then turn on FSR. Eh, actually, it's not that weird. Just looks crappy. Whoa. Whoa, what happened to his animations? What is he doing? No, don't shoot me! Can we do anything more demanding than the 1v1 map test? I highly doubt it. Sandbox. Dynamo. Confirm. I am fully expecting a crash here. Oh, is that it? Yep. That's it. It's done. See, look, we've got a mouse, but we can't leave the window. Escape, nothing. Control Alt Delete, nothing. Alt F4, nothing. Our task manager is no longer updating. Yeah. She's frozen. All right, well, it had a good run. I'm just happy it worked. My $200 purchase and my two hour round trip drive has been justified. For my own sanity, this is probably going to be the final video with the PS4. Let's just hope either Valve does not release another game soon, or LeapFrog does not make another device that I have to put emulators on. Thanks for playing, PS4 Pro. You were... kind of a disappointment. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Which will not be a PlayStation 4 video. I promise. If you are a member of the Critical Financial Asset tier on Patreon, you can now ask me any question that won't get me cancelled for the end of the video. And today's questions are... What draws me to technology? From Lucifella. Technology is the world's biggest rabbit hole. You can find any weird niche little thing to just completely hyper-focus on, and you will never, ever run out. Ever. And also it does things for me so I don't have to do them anymore. I couldn't tell you the last time I wrote something down with a pencil and paper. Hugo asks, do I have any computer science or IT degree or background that gave me the skills that I have? So I took half of an A-plus certification exam, because there's the first part and then there's the second part. I took the first part and I passed, barely. Uh, and then the second part, I think I had to pay like 200 bucks, and I kind of just didn't really feel like it. So I never got my A-plus, and then I dropped out of college. However, I did work in e-waste. That's where I'd say like 90% of my skills come from. Well, 
Uh, 50, I guess. The other 50% is just breaking things and having to learn how to fix them. Cyber asks, why the names Bean, Tony, and Mystic for the cats? Um, can we get, can we get them on set? Okay, we have the Bean. She's the little tortoiseshell baby. She's incredibly floppy. Look at this. Bean is uh, her name because I just thought it was very cute. And it's not Beans like all the vets think. It is Bean. One singular Bean. And then we got the newest member of the family. This is Tony. He likes to just be sideways. Tony is like a lynx point or something, but he was an outdoor cat that just kept coming around and then he just liked being in the house. So he's fixed and now he's ours. His name is Tony because my neighbor gave him the name of Romeo and then I misheard that as Antonio. And so that's why I started calling him Tony. And then I realized that's actually not his name, but it's too late because that's what's on his registration and that's what's on his collar. So he's Tony. And then the final one, the mystic. Oh, she's a bit moody, so she's probably not gonna wanna be up here. But she's a Russian blue, and she probably would rather just go back to laying down, to be honest, so I think that's where she's gonna go. Yep, see you later. Uh, and she is named Mystic because she just walked into our house from the backyard once. You know, it's kind of a theme, both Tony and Mystic. I was taking out the trash, and then I left the door open, and then I came back in, and there was a gray cat. Uh, so that was a mystical encounter, we determined, so she was named Mystic. And AlexMad93 asks, how many rolls of toilet paper do I use in an average week? You were not ready for this one. Okay, I think I've been working on this guy for like all of September. And you wanna know why? Bam! Bidet, bitch! You know what it's like to know for a fact that you have the cleanest ass in the room? There's nothing like it. So your answer is probably like a quarter of a roll per week. I hope you're satisfied.